You are I'm on a so thousand sorry. today. I'm not on a thousand. You are. Okay, I'm sorry. I just love that's my favorite drink song. I know, but it's not. And I'm just like, oh, no. you get distracted easily. Just keep going. Because you're distracted. Just keep going. You really don't have to stop. Just keep going. What were you saying? The next time oh, you, know what? you have a big <laughs> yeah. No, you don't get to look at my iPad. Okay. Please go. Please go. What were you saying? You probably don't even remember any of you. <clears throat> Welcome back to Make Nights of Magnolia. I'm Dana. And I'm Naya. And today we're gonna to talk about the negative effects of social media. Yeah, I could talk about this for about like three hours. I could too. Like it's insane. Like I so I just made a post on Instagram not too long ago on our McNights of Magnolia Instagram. Follow us. And it was just talking about how like my experiences with makeup and self confidence and stuff like that. And it's insane. Like I remember there were times in middle school where if I didn't look a certain way, I genuinely didn't even want to go to school. Like, I didn't want to go and get an education. Like, if you think about it, I just don't think anyone deserves to feel that way. No one deserves to feel that way. So basically, there are 2.85 billion Facebook users. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah. There's about a billion in, on TikTok, too. There's more than a billion, actually, on TikTok. Oh, she got her numbers out, y'all. Actually, there, because this is so interesting to me. So there's 1.44 billion users on TikTok. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then the crazy thing is there are serious effects of social media on young girls. Oh, and 100%. For, honestly, adult women as well. So, like, for one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> the inadequacy about... It's like I'm having a serious... <laughs> dear god and she says i'm the one not ready today okay she's taking a breather <laughs> from here Ew. okay i think i'm ready okay so one effect one negative effect is the inadequacy <laughs> it's the word inadequacy <coughs> it's not here no, turn no, here's no, what no. you can do while you're coughing cough because you need to get it out we're gonna edit this out anyway it well go loud in my ears so cough is it out I don't know. Like nothing. Say inadequacy. Inadequacy. Okay. It's Turn not. Right back. <clears throat> excuse me. It's not the word. It's. I don't know what it is. It's probably that Cheeto. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably that hot. Yeah. Cheeto. I could be. You can put that in there. Dude, and be like, literally dying. The hot Cheeto did it. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> She's back. One negative effect of social media on young girls and women is the inadequacy about your life or appearance yeah i know personally there have been a couple times on social media i've looked at someone's timeline like, wow she has such a full life they're doing so many fun things and they're doing so many cool things and she has the best family so i've definitely fallen victim to that what about you oh no 100 percent. like i think also growing up in this era of social media i grew up when everything was starting to bloom you know what i mean you had myspace before my time like what i think you know about myspace i was you posted a picture of us on myspace i sure did what up tom <laughs> hey tom on myspace do you remember tom or oh, you don't Tuesday. remember tom but tom was the founder of myspace and he was everyone's friend it's your only that. friend. But like he it's was, your first friend when you sign up. Right around, I want to say, like really 2010 ish, mm -hmm. would you say, is when social media made this huge shift. Like, it was different. Like, social media was always around, not always around, but it was around for a while, about like 20 years now. Wow. And people. Oh, yeah. Is it like that's like it's just a number? When you say 20 years, it seems like a really long time. Yeah. But it's it really not. It's really not that long ago if you think about it. I guess. Like, it's really not that long ago. Because 20 years is a long time, but not really. But um, I was, like, what, in fifth grade at that point? And that's when kids start getting cell phones and stuff like that. And I remember all of elementary school, I would get, I want to say, like, maybe fourth and fifth grade, I had an iPod. And I used to get Instagram. 
and I used to hide it behind my mom's back and I used to get in so much trouble. Let me tell you how stupid I was. I literally got Instagram knowing I was not supposed to have it. And the two people I followed first was Miley Cyrus and my aunt. The reason I didn't want you to have social media early on is because I was, and I'm still afraid of cyberbullying. Yeah. I didn't want you to grow up too fast. I felt like that was opening up your world to a point where I couldn't protect you. Yeah. And then once you saw it or once you became a victim of it, I couldn't protect you anymore. And that still is very scary. Because me. the thing is that kids genuinely commit suicide over that stuff. That's why I don't understand for the life of me. And I know like you have a note um, about cyberbullying. What? Don't be looking at my notes. Oh my God. You have a note about cyberbullying. No. Um, but why? Because I said before we even started, I said, don't look at my notes. Like, these are for me. This is well, not for us Well, I was saying that you can segue into your thing about cyberbullying because it was already getting, because you brought it up. Okay, but why does that matter? Because I have what I want to talk about and then you have to don't okay. look at my list. Anyways. So, like I was saying, like, kids genuinely commit suicide over stuff like this. So that's why for the life of me, I don't understand how people, they get joy off of bringing other people down. Like, I, for the, I just don't understand that. If you're talking behind someone's back with one of your best friends, that's something different. I'm not trying to say that I am the nicest person on planet Earth. But I feel like, like, cyberbullying and talking about someone is totally, like, totally different. I don't think cyberbullying is ever okay. No. There have been a lot of cases, past and recent, of even adults cyberbullying children. And the children have harmed themselves or worse. And that's not okay. No. It is it is it is not okay. And that's definitely a major aspect of us wanting you and your sister to not be on social media. Yeah. Another negative effect is FOMO. Mm -hmm. Do you know what FOMO is? Fear of missing out. Yes, I Do you get knew FOMO? fear of missing out, but then I was like, FOMO? What Do you more? get FOMO? I get FOMO from, I don't think FOMO is that deep, personally. No, it's not that serious, but if someone is out somewhere, I couldn't go because I, one, wasn't invited. Oh, that sucks. You're lost. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Or I had plans. Oh, we're and I, so fun. We're so fun. And then I look at like their pictures and their feed and I was like, wow, it looks like they had a really good time. I, I, I missed so. out. I know, yeah. I hate that I missed out. But I don't think that is that, to me, it's not that serious. But there I are some like people that I think it's very serious. It's, it's anxiety inducing for a lot of people, 100%. Social media or FOMO? FOMO. Like... I was talking to one of my girlfriends a while ago. I'm going to say this had to be like what, my junior, sophomore year of high school. I don't remember. But I was talking to her and she was like, I literally like, and this was back when like you were at the age before your parents were like, yeah, I come home, whatever. Like it was, we were like 15, 16 years old. But she was like, yeah, my mom said no and I really want to go. And she was like so upset and like genuinely distraught because she was seeing everyone having so much fun at this like party or whatever. And she wasn't allowed to go. And like that really, I don't know, that really did something to her. And that really made her feel like crap because she's seeing everyone do it. But and that's just something you're going to, you're going to miss stuff in your life. So I think that's just something you got to get over, Loki. Yeah, definitely. Another <clears throat> negative effect is reality versus the social media. It is a total <sighs> difference. It's like, I know people, social media isn't real. It's only a snippet of people's real lives. People don't post everything. Well, some people do post everything, but yeah. a lot of us don't post everything. We post the highlights. Ah. And so... Your best version of yourself. You do, yeah. You post your good trips, but you don't post the dumpster fires that happen every day because, <laughs> in your life and i think i have an answer to that it's because and it goes back up to cyberbullying. like everyone on the internet is so mean like everyone especially when you gain a following and like you have a lot of people watching your stuff people are just rude for no reason let me tell you the tiktok comments i see videos on tiktoks and it could be a girl who 
isn't the most societally beautiful girl and stuff like that and she's doing something that isn't seen as like normal per society like on tiktok and i'm looking through the comments and the girl looks so happy like they always look super happy super super excited i'm like i watched that i'm like you know what pop off queen like you do you yeah. but all the comments are just like who's gonna tell her why is she looking like this is she for real this can't be this can't be this has to be a joke and all this stuff and i'm like I think I know and it for makes me feel so bad for them. I know for a fact there are a lot of keyboard warriors yeah. is what I like to call them. And there yeah. are people that just get online and like to berate other people. Like Drake said, trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Back to back. Thank you. You're welcome. No, that's relevant though. Like he's like, he said something real there. I mean, he did definitely, and I just think people. <laughs> you are I'm on a so thousand sorry. today. I'm not on a thousand. You are. Okay, I'm sorry. I just love that's my favorite Drake song. I know, but it's not. And I'm just like you are. Nuts. You get distracted easily. Just keep going. Because you're distracting. Just keep going. You really don't have to stop. Just keep going. Why are you looking at me like that? What were you saying? The next time oh, you know what? You have a big... <laughs> yeah. No, you don't get to look at my iPad. C please go. Please go. What were you saying? You probably don't even remember anymore, do you? <clears throat> What I was going to say is reality versus social media. People post the highlights of their lives on social media. Yeah. I do because for me, social media is a happy place. That's not for me to be oh with me. Yeah. Okay. So I learned a new term. It's called vague booking. Vague booking is, I know you've seen the posts. Some people will put a post up and it'll say, stop asking everybody about me. If you want to know what's going on in my life, ask me. Oh, God. And then I am I am reading the post, oh, right? And then I'm like, oh, my God. Did I? Is, are they talking about me? Did I no, ask no, someone? No, listen, listen. If you have to think if they're talking about you, they're not talking about you. But I'm like, did I ask somebody something about somebody's personal life? And then it like they're upset. And I'm like, it is the craziest thing but no, I it's like it. subtweeting yes it's i think it's so freaking stupid i'm sorry i'm trying not to say stupid anymore but i honestly just don't agree with that at all because i genuinely think that like you're accusing people of taking things to social media but you're taking that response to social media get off social media and just like text them privately if you have a problem with one person like obviously like if one person who asked about you and you didn't like it text that person and be like hey so and so told me that you were asking about me i'm doing okay and i would wish in the future if you could talk to me about it before talking to anyone else boom it's solved i don't care and also one other thing or you could just walk up to that person and be like what it is oh or what's up that was so cringe no that's the you haven't heard about that new challenge i have heard about that new challenge but okay. that's our music what it is oh what's up <laughs> can i get in you know, mm. back to what i'm saying anyway i just think for young girls and for women but it's that usually older women this, I'm sorry. It's usually older women who do that. Yes, I cannot say you're wrong. No, because well, so when you say older women, not what like older? I think what does that mean? Like the women who are teetering the line between millennial and Gen X. Okay. Like like your like forty year olds. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I see, because I see like people yeah, like you went to high school and college with doing it. not specifically, but like I see like people who are more in your age group doing that. I don't we'll do post something like we'll repost a quote on our Instagram stories is how we do that. And it's like if you ask me how I'm doing, like I'm not fine or something like that. And it's just like stupid. Sorry. Oh my god. That word is burned into my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. I need to go to an anti-stupid convention. We don't say that word. Because it's mm -hmm. so rude. But uh, what can I say it's dumb? <laughs> just kidding. How about Social media is addicting. 
Oh my God, it is. There have been situations where young girls and even adult women have had, have logged hours a day on social media. Let's, should we check my screen time right now? Sure. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. What? It's definitely going to be a little high. Why? Let's yeah, see. because I haven't been doing much this week. I've just been home. So let me see <laughs> it. So we are up 37% from last week. Your daily average? That was 11 hours. What? Yeah. 11 hours. Technically, today. I didn't go to bed until late. Late, late, late. That's a lot. Oh, I know why. It's because I accidentally, so I'm watching YouTube and I leave my phone on and it's tracking that when I fall asleep. Okay. Because I was wondering, I was like 6 a.m., like nine hours on entertainment? What is that? That's how much I slept. Okay. So let's go. So yesterday I was on my phone for eight hours because it says I was on my phone 12 hours today. And I'm like, there's no way. Okay, that, that makes sense. So it's usually around eight hours a day. And then Sunday I was only on it for three hours. Like last week, like when I'm working and stuff like that, I'm not on it. But if I'm just like... So that's still a lot. And it's always... The number one is always Snapchat. Always. I don't know where TikTok went. Oh, I deleted TikTok, so my numbers are a little wonky right now. What about the negative body image issues that comes with social media? <sighs> Has that... Have you ever felt... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's another thing that I think it is not, I am like, I'm no supermodel. I don't think that it's a bad thing to say. I don't think like it is what it is. I'm actually happy and confident with how I look and everything like that. But I also see a lot of girls on social media and they'll look at their supermodels like Kendall Jenner and like Carly Kloss and like all of them. And like, they are paid to be pretty. I think about it like that. Like their job is to be skinny and pretty and beautiful. Like it is like skinny. a little unreal. That I know, but I personally don't think that like the skinnier you are, the more beautiful you are. But no, but there, there was are. a time because ironically, now that you brought that up, there was a time like if you go and you look at the beauty standards throughout mm -hmm. time in the fifties women were curvier they were fuller, they yeah. were fuller. They looked like showed elizabeth taylor eartha kitt josephine baker style body mm -hmm. marilyn monroe the softer bodies mm -hmm. and then it got a little leaner and then it was like the 90s it stick thing. it was like they the women became or the standard of beauty was the women became waif almost like androgynous body types. You couldn't tell mm -hmm. if they were boys, girls. So. They wanted flat butts. Cause they'd be like, does my butt look big today? That and I'd be the, like, does my butt look big today? And that was the beauty standard. Yeah. And then it was like, I am not the only one that have called it this, but a lot of people call it the Kardashian effect. Mm -hmm. When they hopped on the scene, it was like curvy, was back in again but they've always but this is the issue ever black women yeah we've had full lips fuller bodies fuller butts and all of this and it was looked at like we were less than desired if that makes any sense like our features yes if, if people didn't find that attractive yeah okay like people didn't find our body types attractive now there's so many people chasing our body types and we've had it all along but when we presented it i feel like it was looked down upon but now it's socially acceptable to have fuller lips fuller hips wider hips and it's it just amazes me but did you know even with that if you search the standard like the standard beauty 2022 you have to look down several images before you find an image of women that look like us yeah. that hurts and as a 48 yeah. year old woman that hurts i can't imagine what a 12 year old who says let's google a beautiful woman and it takes her to go to page three 
before she finds she someone, someone that looks like, like her. Even remotely like her. That is the most damaging it's... thing. And I, if I could change anything about social media, it would be cyberbullying and represent exactly representation matters i'm gonna say this i don't i like talked about this like a lot because i mean i'm over it now but like growing up in middle school i was hit with a huge identity crisis and it's and it wasn't until about like my sophomore year of high school i want to say like my freshman sophomore year of high school where i was really like okay like black is beautiful and like all this stuff because i genuinely wasn't seeing people who looked like me in the spotlight you know what i mean and if we weren't in the spotlight like we were what do you we mean? were the sassy girl or we were like not the main not character. the main character like we were always the main character's best friend you'd be like you go girl missouri from, from yeah. disney channel oh, but her i character. love sky jackson oh she's gorgeous she's and she's so beautiful she's such an amazing actress but i do understand yeah. what you're saying and that's the importance of the little mermaid we oh my God. have I'm a so little excited. i know you're so super excited y'all hold on hold on you don't understand when i was a little i had the cd the dvd the separate soundtrack the and dress, the broadway the wig. musical the dress the wig and everything this i'm telling you for little girls i'm 18 movie. years old and you don't understand the excitement and the happiness that is like courses through my veins i literally teared up watching the trailer 35% of teenagers on social media worried about being tagged in unattractive photos. Oh my God, yeah. 35%. Yeah. But That's... it's not like that deep for me personally, but I know a lot of people who like freak out. I might have untagged myself on a couple photos, but for real? I don't I looked completely hammered like or you know, just whoa this is not good right. and then i would untag myself but it's if it's if a couple of them slip out it's, yeah i don't really have a big issue right. with it but again i'm not a teenager so i can imagine how it's high that is rough. exactly but did you know that 22 percent of girls they feel bad if they post a picture and they don't get likes or they don't get enough. Likes. Oh my God, my favorite feature on Instagram right now is the fact that you can hide your like count. Like it was a thing for me, especially I wanna say like the middle of high school, I was really insecure for whatever reason. But um, I wanna say all my girlfriends, they were getting like 500 likes on their pictures and stuff like that. And I was barely getting, I was barely getting 250 likes. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm so lame. And I think like, one of my posts that I made like a couple months ago, it only got 100, like my Vegas photos. It only got like 194 likes. And I was like, what, what is, is this? Why is that bad? That's No, because I'm like, it should be at least like, that is a two, 300 like post. Like I don't understand why. But was, why? Like, what What about that post you makes just you know. think? You just know. It's something you but feel I'm, it. You okay. Feel it. But what about that post makes you think 200 people? But it wasn't 200 people. It was 194. Okay, what about that post makes you feel like 194 people or more than 194 people should like it? Is it because you weren't in North Carolina? You were in I was in Vegas, Vegas and I was gorgeous. Like what? But you're gorgeous in North Carolina, so why does that matter? Oh my God, no. Well, she, she just doesn't get it. Did you see my post? Okay, we have no internet connection. We need to get that. Like, I was with you, and yeah, I saw it. I took half the videos and the photos. You definitely did take but all But I'm not them. understanding, like, why does that matter? I don't know, it just does. How, okay, so how does that affect you? It doesn't really affect me that much. It annoyed me for, I want to say, like, about an hour, and then I forgot about it, if I'm being honest. But did you, though? Because now you're No, because now that it's brought though. back up. Because well, look at this one. This one is not even that cute. But it's... And this one got 230. But why do you go back and compare? That's cute. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. I was listening to you. Okay. Keep going. I am. I can. Yeah. But it's, I just wanted you to be up front so we can have a conversation. They probably can't even see it. Okay. And it's like, this is a mother-daughter relationship and this is supposed to be relatable. This is so, relatable. This no, is me. You're at, no, because mom, I like literally like right now, I don't even want to film. Like you're like, it's that bad. I don't even want to film because you keep stopping. You have to keep going. Okay. Can we do that? Because okay. I make, like, I, if I do one thing, 
They're like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. You do you and I'll do me. And we feed off of each other. Is that okay? Can we do that? Did that hurt your feelings? Nope. Because it seemed like it hurt your feelings. Nope. No, because why does it hurt your feelings? You do hurt my feelings. Did I annoy you? Yep. What? What do you think about that? It's like, who's the one with the ADHD? You can't keep your eyes off me. <sighs> but what were you saying? I was just going to say... I don't know, I guess we need to wrap it up. I'm happy with all my posts. I don't delete my posts anymore. But, um, I don't know, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, like, you have seven posts. I'm like, that's because that's not what Instagram is for. Like, you use Instagram like a mom. I'm sorry. Like, my Instagram, I want it to be cute and aesthetic. You want it to be aesthetic. That's fake. No, it's not. It's aesthetic. It's a difference. If you you post... Like, I look like that in real life and... I understand that, but there's only seven photos. Like my Instagram, if I put it out there, it stays out there. It's an art it form. Gets, it's an art. It form. is an art form, and I can look back over the years and say, "Oh my goodness, look how much fun we had." But that's that's you. So-and-so. That's you. Look that's how much. You. But I don't understand why. That's what Snapchat to... is for. That's what we use what Snapchat is, for. What is Snapchat? Not what is Snapchat, but like, what do you use Snapchat for? We use Snapchat for that. Like we like look back on our pictures. We're like, "Oh my god, like this is so funny. This is so cute. Like it's more casual." There's difference, like social media instagram is casual not no it's not not yet anyways we're doing this okay. there's this movement called make instagram casual again but it's really not that casual it shouldn't be okay so same what? thing with facebook like you use facebook and instagram like the same way and you, I, that's just not my vibe what okay because like Help and me. then you have visco and then you have be real and you have all these things like you have all these media platforms for different purposes but why do you need five apps to stay in touch with the same people that's not what it's used for it's really not that's do you know that's the number one reason why i wouldn't get on tiktok why because i was like why do i need another app to talk to the same you don't talk to people on tiktok forever but why do i need to post a video on a, yet another platform you just do. when I can see them on Facebook and I can see them on Instagram. It's not the same. It's not the same. The trades are different. You can make more money. Like, it's literally, no, it's not the same. Like, Facebook, Facebook is used, let me break it down for you, like social media apps. Facebook is used by, I want to say, 30 to 40 to 50. That is true. 30 and up. It's used by 30 and up. And that's when you post, oh, look at my kids at the pumpkin patch. Damn you like it's more aesthetic it's more like how good do can you look like that's what instagram is for instagram is to show off how gorgeous you can be so okay? you want to be TikTok, a bad bitch on instagram you basically yeah you want to be a bad bitch like you want to be like mm, cute on instagram tiktok you want to be funny and you can be a bad bitch on tiktok too it depends say bad bitch again bad bitch <laughs> I'm sorry. You can be a baddie on TikTok too, but people like TikTok is really for being funny. And if you're funny and pretty, oof, you got it made. Also, Be Real. Be Real is this app. You know what Be Real is? No. Be Real is this app and it's like literally telling people to be real. It's like a real social media. I don't do it anymore because maybe I'm just fake. But yeah, why do you need an app to tell you to be real? Why can't no, you not because be real on be real, Facebook? I'm trying to explain to you what be real is. Oh, because no, no did you just Facebook. clap and talk? Because I'm trying to tell you. No, because those are fighting words. Like, those are fighting words. When you talk and clap. Basically, be real. Naya, stop it right now. Stop it. So be real. It's just this app and it like tells you, like it goes off. At, you can only post on that once a day. And it goes off at a Ooh, random good. time. It goes off on a random time. That I like. And then you have to take, it takes a picture of your front facing and back facing camera. So it's like you stop what you're doing and like, what are you doing? You're being real. Like you just snap. If, even if you're on the toilet, doesn't matter. Why on earth? But I don't post on Be Real anymore because I just don't care. But why on earth would anyone want to post when they're on the toilet? So. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Having said that, social media isn't all bad. No, it's not all bad. Part two will be the positive effects yeah. of social media because social media has its good points and we want to point that out as well. Agreed. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on all of our social media platforms. Bye.